All right, just got this uh, NIMOD 60 kg steering servo, um, direct power. On 4S, it's, I uh, believe it's right around 850 ounces, which is about, you know, 60 kg. And 3S is going to be anywhere from the <clears throat> lower 700 up to up to 800 but more likely up to the mid 700 uh ounce range on 3s um which is going to be about you know 50 to 55 uh kilograms um it comes with a a connector there um for the direct power if you don't know how to solder Go ahead and use that but if you know how to solder i would just pull the little connector off of that and connect it directly to the power leads coming off of your uh esc or in my case the power leads coming off the motor the fusion hobby wing fusion motor um to power up the servo um the communication wire is short so it doesn't go all the way to the rx box so you will need a servo extension wire of about, oh, if you can find a short one, get one about three inches long, two to three inches long. I would say three inches to stay safe. Um, <clears throat> this thing runs backwards. Uh, so you're going to have to reverse the throw through your radio. You're going to have to reverse it, um, the steering. If you're running the uh, Traxxas TQI remote, there's uh, on Traxxas uh, YouTube channel, there are there is videos how to uh, reverse the steering throw through the through the uh, controller. Pretty simple, just follow along, and uh, they give you instructions for both the two button controller and the single button controller. does come with this uh, 25 tooth servo horn um, for the for the TRX4 I just reused their, their servo horn this one felt kind of you know lightweight and uh, cheap I guess you could say um, the one that comes with the TRX4 is pretty beefy so and then this is the connector that it comes with uh, like I said, if you don't know how to solder, just use this. If you do know how to solder, simply pull that little black part down and desolder that black and red wire there, and then resolder it to your motor, uh, ESC power wires, or your fusion motor power wires. And then here's the servo itself right here. Not a bad looking servo. Sixty kg, so it was, it was uh, basically sixty some bucks after tax. You know they had a, a fifteen dollar off sale, so you know it's it's a pretty good price for that. Um, the shift servos that I buy, the X Shift X twos. Um, God, I could uh, I could get two of these servos and still have a little money left over. And then my other servos, uh, uh, no superior design. That's about a hundred and thirty dollar servo. So that's basically two of those. And then I also buy the uh, Holmes Hobbies uh, servos, the the BLS HV five hundred and the BLS SHV eight hundred servos at Holmes Hobby sells, and his prices aren't too bad for servos either. But uh, yeah, you save quite a bit of money on servos if this thing works out here. Anyways, up next, I'm gonna show it installed into the vehicle, and just want to say it's a little bit noisy while under operation, and it does chatter. I think it's gear noise, as what was said in another video. But it is absolutely quiet as far as when it's sitting still. Um, there's no trying to find center, no humming or buzzing noise. But it does chatter as you're turning it. Um, chatter is the best word I can come up with. It, 
I don't know how else to describe it. Um, so it is a little bit noisy as you're, as you're turning it. All right, here she is all hooked up uh, and powered up off the ground. Um, it does have a it's not smooth. We put it that way. I don't know what the words are to describe it. There's some chatter going on there, but that's with the wheels off the ground. Oh, it's fairly fast. So let's uh, test getting the, the front tires into uh, pinned and bound situations and try to turn our way out of it. Um, that'll, get, that'll give a good idea of uh, the strength of the servo. Now, I think this is going to be a great servo for trail rigs that do a little bit of crawling. Um, versus the stock... Well, as far as the Traxxas vehicle goes, the stock uh, Traxxas servo, which really kind of sucks. Uh, for 60 bucks, this is, uh, I've already ran it, obviously, in my opinion, is already kind of formed. I think it's, I think for 60 bucks, it's a great servo. But the question is, um, reliability and uh, durability and all that, uh, is it gonna is it gonna break on your first tumble wumble and uh, you know impact to the front wheels there that jars it, um, or is it tough enough to where you know maybe the horn will break instead? That's that's what we hope for, you know. Rather have the horn break than the uh, gears inside the servo. So let's hope it's a good good sixty dollar servo that that lasts you know the life of the rig at least or many 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 runs let's see if we can't get these wheels pinned here and uh, in some spots here and there Yeah, I mean, it's rocking the whole front end of the vehicle back and forth while the tire stays in the same spot. It's got good torque. Look at that. That's shifting the whole vehicle. I was plying just enough forward throttle where the tire wouldn't roll up over the rock, and I was turning it, so give you an idea. That's a hobby wing fusion motor. 2300. I love that thing.
trying to get the vehicle right up against this piece of concrete and then turn the wheel up against it. This might be a little bit of a fail right here, but... So this is on 3S. Like a good spot to put a tire and crank the wheel back and forth. And it's moving that piece of concrete. Overall, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the servo. Um, on on my bench, just turning it back and forth, it was quite noisy. Out here, running around on the rocks, it wasn't bothering me. So yeah, that's a good spot. That's a good pin spot to put a tire. But look at this; it's moving the whole vehicle back and forth. Um, is it as strong as a shift or a, you know a Holmes Hobby or uh, some of the other competitors, no, NSDRC, uh, not quite, but it's still it's pretty good for sixty bucks. You can't, you just, I think it's a good deal as long as the durability is there and it lasts a long time. Nobody wants to have to. Go spend 60 bucks on a new servo every six, seven runs, you know. Um, so as long as we get a few years out of it, then I think that's a good, good price to pay. I personally want to get some more runs on it. I want to get, you know, like six, seven, eight, nine runs on it. Before I before I decide to say yes, I'll buy it again. At this point in time, I'm leaning towards yes, I'd buy it again. But I'd rather get some time time uh, out on the trails with it. Um, it. As far as I can tell right now, it'll do everything I need a servo to do. And look at it, it's just torquing away in there. Like I said, I'm just trying to find spots to, to bind the front the front wheels up while while turning. Uh, this is a Nymod 60 kg um, direct power steering servo, and this is on 3S. And so far, I'm pretty impressed with it. Other than it's a little bit no the gear train in it's a little bit noisy. It's more noticeable, the noise is more noticeable on the bench than it is out here um, in the field.
Yeah, look at that. That's putting a lot of backwards pressure on them front tires up against that center block, and it's just cranking the whole front end of that defender left and right. That just moved the whole rock. Yeah. I'm not sure how much longer the $15 off thing is going on at Amazon. It might be over right now, but yeah, we got ours for $15 off. I kind of wish we would have bought two. Nothing broke, nothing broke while I was doing this, this testing. Uh, I, by the time I was done, I felt pretty confident about the servo. Once again, this is the Nymod 60kg, four, direct powered, 4S capable servo. Right now it's being powered on 3S. And I'm just trying to find situations here to pin, pin the front tires to test them out, um, the torque of the servo. So far it's doing really well. Very much impressed with it, so if you're looking for a cheap servo, Amazon's the place right here. Nine mod this nine I M O D. The number nine I M O D nine nine mod.
I guess I need to test the waterproofness on it. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, this servo's a go. 60 bucks, hell yeah, all day long. Nine mod, 60 kg, uh, $60 servo on Amazon. Um, my first test so far, the thoughts are pretty good. If you want to risk it, go get one. Um, I think this one's worth the risk, and we'll get some runs under it, and I'll decide if I sh should get another one. Thanks for watching. RC for life, and peace out.